Hey guys, this is David with Great Choice Audio Video. Hey, today is a special video because we have partnered with Coastal Source. Now, Coastal Source is a really, really nice brand when it comes to outdoor low voltage landscape lighting. Uh, they have incredible uh, quality in all the materials, and then they also have um, cabling uh, that will last for many, many years. Um, let's start with their fixtures. They offer so many types of fixtures. That's what's really cool, guys. Uh, you know, they have their flush mount of fixtures. They have your typical, you know, up lights, down lights, but, but their lights are a little bit different than, than most people's. Uh, their, their up light, uh, or all the, most all the lights, uh, are solid brass. And then on some of the pieces, you can actually have a few custom colors um, made. You have, you know, a solid white and you got the brass and then you got a, a kind of a silver titanium look, which is really cool. So there's multiple, multiple kinds of lights. And what's, what's so cool is that there's totally customizable. Um, every light uh, has different bulbs that you can choose from. So if you want more of a yellowish light, you can choose the 2700K. If you want a brighter, wider light, you could do a 3000K uh, or even a 4000K. Now, depending on how really bright you need it, um, <laughs> you can choose, there's so many variations. So let me grab one of their bulbs. So here's what's really cool, guys. So here's your bulbs. And so uh, what's very unique and different about these is that there's a screw on cap now this one says it's a uh, 3000K, three watt MR16. Well, you can take the same bulb, it comes with three different lenses. You just unscrew it like so. And then this little cap or lens comes off. What's cool about that is that, so here's the actual light. You can see that, here's the lens. So the lens is what gives it the amount of degree um, that spreads onto whatever object that you're uh, going on. So you have a uh, 15 degree, 30 degree, and 55 degree. So depending on how wide your object is or how tall it is, um, there's actually really cool charts that they've come up with that helps you choose the right bulb for every situation. So whatever you're trying to light up, how tall, how wide, you make sure you get the, the right bulb, right lens to do the right thing. So besides the bulbs being cool, you know, all the bulbs have a five year warranty. Now, all their lighting fixtures, lifetime warranty, because <laughs> I weigh this guys on the scale. And this one fixture was almost two and a half pounds. <laughs> this is not your um, box store landscape lighting type, you know, solution. This is a, a solution that's gonna last for many, many, many years. So uh, you're gonna have uh, very, very good luck with these because they're only gonna look good, but they're gonna last for a very long time. Now, here's another thing that's unique about them. Most all of them come with these pigtails. And if you see here, one thing that we, uh, in landscape lighting that you're, that's typical is, you know, a two conductor wire, and then you're stripping the wire, and then you're using, you know, gel wire nuts that, you know, sometimes last, sometimes don't. Um, sometimes your connections aren't that, that good because you're stripping wire. So um, this is a waterproof connection that works every single time. All you're doing is you're screwing in a wire that has a connector, the end. We'll plug it in here. I'll just push it in. Screw it on, 100% waterproof, done. Also, install time is way less. Yeah, a little more up front because you're, you're running a thicker gauge wire with better connections, but over time, you know, have you ever had those landscape systems where, you know, one light just goes out, or you got a bad connection somewhere, or something happened with the connector or the wire nuts? Well, with this, you don't have to worry about that. So, another, another great thing. So, what, what Coastal Source has done is they've created pre-made pieces so you can buy so when we do a landscape design uh, we figure up all the individual distances between lights back to the controller so we can buy these in five foot links 10 foot links 25 foot links 100 foot links um, we got splitters um, we can even take 
uh, an older system that didn't have this type of connection and convert it to the new system or vice versa. So very, very cool on how all the connections work on this system. There's so many cool options, so many types of lights. I can't show you all the lights in this video, uh, but you, you have your typical up lights, down lights, you got your tree lights. Um, <laughs> you have what's called your niche lights, uh, niche lights if I say that right. But <laughs> what these lights are is a single specialized light that the caps, these are made to be flush mounted into whatever surface you want to put them in. So I've seen them being put into concrete. Um, I've seen them put into decks. Uh, there's multiple ways to use these types of lights and they're super, super cool. So it's a one piece deal. The lights already made into the, uh, the fixture and then you just have your lens. And then what's cool is you can choose what kind of ring or trim you want. So this is the, uh, the brass, you have a copper, and then that white one I showed you and a silver one. So some color choices when you're, when you're doing the surface mount or the trim piece. So the way this works too, matter of fact, we have a job coming up where we're running a bunch of conduit into the concrete because we want to do a bunch of these flush into the concrete pad uh, around the seating areas, uh, around a pool. So it'll be really, really cool. So the way that works is we're running one inch conduit. So you got one inch PVC that we're gonna run to all these and then we'll just cut the PVC where it's flush with the concrete and what's cool is that it comes with, let me see that, this little rubber grommet. So let me put this lens back in there, screw the cap back on. So we'll just feed our wire through it and then with that rubber grommet, it's going to hold nice and tight and flush and it's not gonna pull off easily because it's because that grommet is made to go into a piece of one inch conduit so now it's flush in your concrete or in your wood or whatever surface you put in and it's a nice clean fit and finish so another way to get lights shine on some planters or just highlight edges of concrete for sidewalks or or whatever you're uh you're trying to design to use with these lights super cool they also make these lights um with a shield so you can do it one way you know, small spotlight, they got different connectors so you can do a little angle bend and, and shine across to, you know, something small. Um, they have a hanging light. So it's got a little ball up here. I don't have it here, but, but it hangs up above. You can hang it from a tree, hang it from rafters, whatever. And it just hangs over something. And then you got a spotlight down. Super cool. And then you have some other specialty lights. Let's say you want to uh, put these in the sidewalks, but and you want to do a, th you know, 360 worth of, or I guess this will be, you know, for both sides, you know, 360 of spray. And so if you can see here, guys, there's a, there's a little uh, slot on both sides of the spray on either on both sides as it as it's on. And again, this has the same grommet, so you could put it into a one inch conduit or whatever. Um, then they make it, or if you just want one side, so you got this flush in. Let's say you got them on the edge of the concrete on both sides and they're shining inward uh, across the sidewalk or um, you know walking surface or wherever you got these steps. I've seen these put on steps where they're flushing the step and they're just shining straight down. Another cool way to use these. So um, lots of lots of cool things. Like I said, I love the way that you can choose and modify all the lights just by changing out the lenses, picking you know how bright you want it from a one and a half watt three watts, six watts, depending on how much light you need to go up a tree um, or down a tree or, or whatever. So, and of course, <laughs> you got some cool pathway lights like this. Uh, <laughs> these are very heavy uh, and they actually mount from underneath. And if you can see that, see there's three screws right here. So um, these aren't just popping off. I've seen a lot of pathway lights that just, the tops break on them all the time or they bend. Um, that's not gonna happen in something like this. So, uh, really nice light, and matter of fact, I'm gonna wait till it kinda gets dark a little bit and kinda show you guys what some of the light looks like on some of these fixtures. So I've got some different up lights with the, the different amount of uh, spread, you know, the 30, the 15, and the 55s. So, some other things I don't have here is the Tiki, uh, the Tiki torch. Uh, that one's super cool. Uh, we'll probably put a picture in the video, but I don't have it with me, but it's a 72 inch tall, and it's, um, it actually has a tiki torch thing at the top of it with a cap. Uh, it's got your nice little rope at the top. So it actually sits in the canister with your, um, uh, your liquid, your kerosene liquid to, uh, to burn. And then underneath it's got your, your, your LED uh, light, like your pathway lights. 
so it's kind of like a two-in-one but uh, that was a super cool as well wish i had one with me but again I'll, I'll post that in the video but again um i hope you guys like the video and subscribe uh leave me comments down below and and keep watching to the end because i'm going to show you all the different lights when it starts turning dark you're going to see what they look like so thanks and uh, stay tuned all right guys so i'm here showing you just a little demo of all the different lights we talked about earlier in the video so we have down here we have the pathway lights as you can see it gives a nice nice light down you know if you have some flowers down below a pathway obviously that's why it's called a pathway light um you know if you had a trail you had rocks gravel whatever it may be these do a great job of highlighting edges and things like that uh, for pathways and that sort of thing so the other lights i want to show you guys is the up lights you can do a straight up light you can do an elbow light or it's got a hinge um, but the different degrees of lenses i was talking to you guys about uh, where you could have a wider span you know being a 55 degree a 30 degree and a 15 degree so i'm going to show you real quick this is a 55 degree if you were shining up on the wall and this is a 2700k so it's not completely dark but if you can see that you know let me come over a little bit there and so it's kind of kind of nice beam not you know super bright uh again it's a 2700k so let's go to the 3000k but this is a 30 degree you can tell right off the bat see it's definitely brighter and then you can see the cone so the cone is a little slender it's more like this and so depending on what you're shining on um, how big it is and how tall it is you can definitely see you know what this might be good for as far as the size goes as far as the brightness and then the width of the cone and then the last one on the mr 11s uh, you can get me cold here is the 15 degree and see it's also three three thousand k and it's very narrow it's here and here so you know uh maybe you had a short or a yeah a short kind of a tailor uh, you know where it's kind of a narrow pencil type uh tree you know you might use this for something like that uh just something slender so that's what this this is uh will be mostly used for and then one other one small one we got here is a wall wash this is a small wall wash let me get it over here and then wall wash is exactly what it is it's a it's just a you can see it's got kind of a, a wider head a wider area and it just made so you can see here i go further over it's pretty wide it's it's going like this so and the same thing it comes with different lenses depending on the width and the brightness uh 2700k 3000k but it does a really good job of what lighting up a wide area with soft light so now you say you got some bigger trees and bigger items that you want to shine with some different types of light uh 2700k which could be a more of a yellowish light so let's uh let's do this one here so this is mr16 and this is a 2700k and this is a 1.5 watt so this one's not going to be super bright and we'll do these individually so you can see go back over here and again you know you can see it's uh you know a nice light but it's you know it's it's kind of a yellowish light you were also shining on to a gray brick but uh just a bigger light and again it's only 1.5 watts so it's kind of a soft you know light so what i like about these there's so many different variations depending on what we're trying to light up so now let's go to a much brighter light this is a 3000k 
white light, and this is a three watt bulb. So this should be significantly brighter and wider than the previous bulb. I don't know if you can see, but as I'm doing this, these are quick connections. So let me try not to shine you <laughs> in the eyes with the bulb here. But as you can see, right off the bat, much, look at that, much, much brighter and wider. Before, you couldn't really see that this was gray brick. You can definitely see that now and how bright it is. This is the three watt, 3000K. All right, so now we're gonna go to another one. We got two more to show you real fast. Because, so we're still staying with the um, 3000K, but this one is a six watt. So this should be also significantly brighter. Oops, let me, let me not, let's see. Let me make sure I thought I'd check this one. Um, I may have got the wrong bulb with this one. I did. It, so it's this one. We'll skip that one. <laughs> okay, so the last one we're going to show is a, um, we're going to do a 4,000 Kelvin bulb um, that's 3 watts. So 4,000 is going to give us a much even wider uh, light. And I can tell already it's quite a bit lighter. Matter of fact, this one feeds this one just to put these side by side. So there's 4,000. This one was 3,000. So as you can see, side by side, how much? 3,000, 4,000. How much wider that particular beam is. So depending on what the look you're going for, that's what I like about these lights. There's they're totally customizable to get exactly the look you're going for. And they have tons of fixtures. So let me take this one over here. And holy cow. <laughs> Definitely white, super bright, but man, it's, again, you could also change the lens out to a uh, 55 degree, a 30 degree, or 15 degree, depending on the, um, the width of the beam that you want. But as far as the color of the temperature of the, uh, the light, that was great. That's, you know, maybe too bright for somebody. You might like the more the old school or the yellowish light, or just a little bit onto the white side. You might pick a 3000. So with these lights, there's just tons and tons of options. So last but not least, I wanna show you the, the niche lights. Because <laughs> they're so small and they're so cool. So these, let me get over here to the side. There we go. So these are the ones I showed you guys. Well, let's say, um, you know, like for instance, you want a flush model light and you ran some one inch conduit. You run it down and you have your little white and then it's just an unscrewable cap. You know, you pick the lens you want in the cap, different color so it's flush in the ground. So let's just pretend that this uh, conduit's flush to the ground and then you're just pushing that in like that. And so we're going to plug that in and boom I mean it's it's a nice nice light as you can see it's it's bright um, but what a cool effect that is to be you know again a flush in the ground or you know maybe let's say we got a little planter small planter over here and this is flush in the ground you know like this super cool now let's say you want to light up, um, you know, a sidewalk, and you want to do several of them on each, in each side. And so you could do, you know, the the one I showed you guys earlier that mounts flush in the sidewalk and then shines across. So let's do this one. You would do multiple of these, but as you can see, see how the light is on one side. So put this. Uh, Let's do this. Let's put it over here. Act like it's flush. And so you can see, let's get that out of the way. 
So this is flush. See how it's giving you a degree? Of course, if it's, once it gets darker and darker aside, it's shining across and you would do multiple of these. And you can do these in steps, you know, whether a flush on the step and it's shining down, you know, so you have the light shining down on the step. That'd be another cool way to use this light. And then of course, then you have, you know, the one that you can do um, on both sides. So the 360. So you have something like that, where it's flush, you know, with whatever the surface material that you put it on, and it's producing light. Let me move these out of the way. There, it's kind of producing light on both sides. So maybe, maybe it's going up and down a wall and it's flush, you know, you get like this. You know, it's not a very good example because I'm not able to put it flush, but it would shine, you know, maybe you want to go left and right or up and down. And there's so many uses you could do with these lights um, that could tie into your whole landscape system. So the point I'm making is that there's so many options of types of lights with coastal source. So with a great design, great ideas, walking through the landscape and figuring what's going to make the whole area pop where it's just so relaxing and all the the seating areas all the sidewalks all the uh, areas around the pool or hot tub or whatever's back there is is lit not just overly bright but just highlighted just right so it's so relaxing and comforting it makes all the difference so um, hope you liked the video and uh, please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one thanks